what's up everybody? As y'all can see, y'all know my ass loves making me some custom figures. And last year I banged out over 200 of them bitches. But right now I'm at the point to where I like buying them. If I see some nice custom figures, I'm gonna get it. And the other day I was on a store, Party Lab Peru on Etsy. And this man right here has some amazing looking customs. I mean, look at this shit. And these prices, it's reasonable. It's reasonable for the effort and time that was put in these figures. And as I'm going through them, I'm looking at it, I'm like, you know what? That shit looks familiar. But I don't know. So anyways, I keep looking through them. You know what I mean? I, I seen a couple of them that I liked. It's not on here now because I bought them, which we're going to go over in a minute. But I'm going to show you one real quick. And I clicked on it. I'm looking at it. And this guy had a video up playing. And I'm like, you know what? Nah. That shit right there looks awfully familiar. I know I've seen this shit on YouTube before. And then all of a sudden, that shit dawned on me. This motherfucker right here, L Customizer Door, right here on YouTube. This man has been pumping out origin customs, all types of customs, for years now. And his shit is incredible. Every few days, he's got another custom he's posting about. And this really caught my eye months ago. But I even said I wasn't thinking about it. I didn't even realize his ass had a store. Two of the three figures that I bought off his store, he did videos about. And the third one he's about to release later on this week. And as you can see, folks, this man has a love and a passion for making customs, just like myself. And even though his channel is, is all in Spanish and I don't speak Spanish, I speak good craftsmanship. I understand that shit. And that don't stop. Look at that shit. You seen that big ass fat He-Man? I'm trying to get him to make me one of them bitches. I would love a fat He-Man in my collection. But with the figures that I bought off his ass, we gonna go over them. I'm gonna review each one. Give you my thoughts. And I hope y'all check his channel out. It's definitely worth looking at. The first figure we gonna review is one that definitely caught my eye. It's this Dark Menace Grizzlor. Look at that motherfucker right there. A grizzler with long ass hair. Oh, I'm loving the way it looks. Look at that. Other oh, grizzler is, hey, what's up, brother? How you doing over there? This grizzler, the attention that he put into the little things, I love it. I love how he did that face with this overspray right there on it with the color going into the hair. That shit looks all right. Looks like this motherfucker got some age. He's been around the block. He's seen some shit. And he's done some shit. I definitely wish Mattel would release other Grizzlord type figures. As soon as I seen this figure in this man's store, I knew I had to have it. I need more Grizzlord type figures in my life. And this one definitely fills that void for me. I love how he came with his own specialized weapon. And I swear, if I didn't know any better, and I seen this shit in the magazine, I would swear we got a new Mattel Creations exclusive Dark Menace Grizzlord coming out to the masses. I pay for it. I paid for it all day, and I did pay for it. I will definitely try to incorporate this figure in my Motu stories later on this year. Look at this shit. They can come up to each other and say, hey, what's up, brother Grizzlor? How you doing? And that long ass mane on this bitch, oh, it looks so good. And this is one of the type of customs I actually never thought of doing. I never thought I could take some type of hair and put that shit over one of these motherfuckers and make one myself. This man knocked it out the park. Now right here on the back, you can see he had to try to work it out to make that whole harness fit over his body. Put a little tie thing on it. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I wish I could figure out something different for it and I probably will, but it's good for right now. The one thing I thought that was really cool after I got this figure is that I realized he was about to post a video about it. And I'm gonna show you all a clip real quick. As y'all can see, he's speaking that Spanish. I don't know what the fuck he's saying, but luckily for YouTube, all I had to do was hit the closed caption button, hit that shit to translate to English, and bada bing, bada boom, I know what the fuck's going on, and I don't gotta guess. And how he did this figure, oh my god, look at this shit. It's so fucking creative. This man got all the tools for the job. Look how he's planning that shit out. I would have never guessed that that shit right there was going to turn into this motherfucker. But this is only one of the figures, and we got two more left to go. And this next one, oh my god. Look at this shit, all the snake men, they freaking the fuck out. They're like, yo, who is that? Who is that big ass bitch right there? 
And there it is, folks. This massive snake figure, Emperor Khan. He did a phenomenal job. This was another one I knew I had to get this bitch once I seen it. And look at the details on this shit, folks. Starting off with that tail. Look how he made that belt. A nice gold belt with a little snake emblem on it. Let me get a better look. Look at that shit. You can see the teeth on that bitch. Highly detailed. And that tail, this paint that he used, how he gets down with the spray gun. That man's a beast. And all the little pink dots on his bitch. Looks like something's wrong with him. That shit looks decent. Breathing out of skin, I don't know what you want to call it. And them double heads right there. And how he just connected it right to the arm. That shit looks great. I would have thought that it came like this. There's another figure. I would buy it all day off Mattel. Come on, Mattel, sell me some shit like this. Y'all got all the pieces. But that tail really knocks it out the park for me. Looking at the back, you can see he used the rattle hood buck from the Snake Invasion 4 pack. And then he up taking off the tail off the back. It's going to have a hole. It is what it is. But right there's a better view on how he connected that head to the arm. And whatever little sculpted technique he used. Like I said, he's probably going to post this video later on this week on how he did this shit step by step. And the thing with this one, you know what I'm saying? You can tell, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he didn't make it to be played with. He made it to be looked at. You know what I mean? And the neck don't move, unfortunately, but them arms still move. And that's good enough for me. And I just love the way the snake looks. I can never have enough snakes in my collection. Now I want to do some comparisons with that tail right up here next to Lady Slither. And this other tail that I got from Tylo's Dream Shop right there off Etsy. I highlighted his ass in a couple videos before. Look at that shit right there. That was a reasonable price. Just to put that tail on that bitch. I like it. But I love the way that middle one looks. I love that that got more articulation than the Lady Slither one. But that middle one, you can tell that's for a thick ass snake. That's for a beast right there. And that Emperor Khan, his ass looks like he ate a couple palace guards and shit. That's definitely one snake you ass wouldn't want to run into. Now right here, I took Camel Khan's body and I put it right here on the snake tail just to see how it looked. And I like the shit. The colors match good enough to me that I wouldn't mind rocking it like this if I felt the need to do so. And I'm pretty sure that this snake tail will work on another couple figures in the line. Definitely King Hiss, I can see his ass sitting on top of this big ass snake tail. It's a keeper. Right here, I wanted to mix some shit up and put that up for Khan's body on a custom leg that I had to make it for another figure. And I fuck with it. I just love the way that the double hand heads look. Look, everybody else is shocked. That lady snake right there, her ass is in love. This shit is another keeper. I would rock with it. It's some pink ass dots right there over the arms that's really doing it for me right now. In the upcoming snake playset that we won't see for another couple years, I can see his ass being right there running that shit. But right now, folks, my snake army, they're adding up in numbers. Look at all the motherfuckers back there. Whole bunch of Motu ones, whole bunch of costumes, all ready for the action. And this is going to lead the pack. But we still got one more figure to go over. And this one might just be my favorite out the three. We got big ass Kamira. I hope I'm saying this shit right. But this four-legged beast, the shit that he came up with, with all the horns over this shit, making that body all black with all the little leg wrappings on it. Oh my God, I always wanted a Motu figure like this. Always, all day, every day. This shit is the one that I dream for. And I found that shit on Etsy. Out of all three, this was the first one that I ended up putting in the cart. I love how I got the main on the back. Imagine having a whole army of these motherfuckers. I would buy every single figure if Mattel made it. Come on now, take some lessons. Give us this type of shit, Mattel. Some type of centaur type creature. A whole army of them. Give us different colors, different designs. Oh, I love how he did this shit. The one thing that was very creative is how he did that belt. He ended up matching it just like how all the other multi people wear their belts. And right there, I got Kodak, the evil brother of Zodak, watching his ass, ready to take his ass in. Well, that motherfucker got a big ass spear. You don't fuck with somebody that's got a big ass spear like that. Out of all three figures, this was the most expensive one at a price of $130, I believe. 
But for how big this shit is and the work he put in it, it's worth it. Time ain't cheap. The one thing I don't like is that the bitch don't move. It's just one big old statue. And like I said with Emperor Khan, he didn't make it to be played with per se. But hey, I want to play with the shit. And I wish that motherfucker to just jump on top of somebody. I can move that torso up and down. That shit would be hot. But for what it's worth, hey, it looks good. But there's something that I would change on it. And I just want to see what it looks like real quick. And there it is, folks. I got this massive anti-Eternia He-Man Cinnatar style ready to slice and dice He-Man the fuck up. Luckily for me, the colors that he made the rest of the body work perfectly as a souped up anti-Eternia version. I love how the spikes look on the arm and by adding that alternate head from the Flying Fist anti-Eternia He-Man, it definitely gives us some personality. It looks like his ass is pissed the fuck off. His ass might be in pain. He's got four fucking legs, shit. With this figure, oh, I love it. I can't, I don't know. I might keep it like this, but nah, I ain't gonna disrespect the man's work. But I just had to see how it looked, and that shit looks great. Putting it back the way he had it, that horn is really growing on me. But this is another one that he did a video for, and went down all the step-by-step -step process. And let me tell you something, this shit was worth watching. How he did every single thing, from cutting that shit off, matching that shit up. Look at this shit, folks. I'm going to put links to the two out of the three figures that I went over in this video so y'all can watch the step-by-step -step process for yourself. It's definitely worth checking out. And as far as this figure right here, you really knocked this shit out of the park. But right here, folks, we got all three of them together, all up in the castle, starting shit. You got King Keldor in the back watching. King Randor cry his ass off. These figures was worth every penny. I cannot stress that enough. Definitely check out his store if y'all get a chance. This man does amazing work. And not only does he do Motu, but he does other shit. He's got a bunch of TMNT vintage customs that definitely blow your mind. So definitely check out El Customizer Door right there. That's what the shit looks like on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description. And remember, even if your ass don't speak Spanish, you can hit the button right there on the closed caption. And that shit will translate it out to English. And your ass is good to go. This month has started out strong and I got so much more to show you. This month I'm doing videos on the Eternia playset. I got the Horde tank coming. The Serpent Priest coming. I see y'all there. Hold up a second real quick. Y'all see this bitch right here? While I was making this video, I took another look at this land shark. And I had to buy this motherfucker. Look at the details in this fucking tank. Oh, you know Skeletal needs that shit. Thanks for watching, folks. And if you like what you saw, do my ass a favor and drop me a like. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. It ain't gonna hurt you, is it? Come on now. Go ahead and hit the button. I know you asked to hit the button. Hit that goddamn button. Drop a like. All right, I'm out of here.